This video shows the installation and the use of the 2-inch swing binder. Unpack your assembly and then take your screws and insert them in this groove in the binder base. Do not insert the screws in the holes, but actually the sliding slot here, as shown like this. Now take that binder and position it on the uh, throat of your sewing machine as follows. There are usually two holes on most sewing machines for the use of attachments. Here they are on the Alterfeed LSZ. Snug those screws down. The placement of this binder will depend on the sewing machine you are using. Now swing the binder into place. You can see here that it is actually hitting the feet. You'll need to move the binder back. So release these two screws and then simply slide the binder back or forward depending again on the sewing machine you're using. Your goal is to have the sewing machine feet not touch the binder. You'll notice there are four holes for the placement of this binder. We're going to move this screw all the way to the rear hole. Before cinching down the screws, make sure that that binder does not touch the foot. Doesn't touch here. Let's take another view. And as you can see here, we're very close, but it's not touching. This is acceptable. We'll move the binder back and insert the screw in the position that we desire and cinch those screws down. That's all there is to it. Make sure that the binder is also straight according to the foot on your sewing machine. If it's a little bit cocked, you can always loosen the screws and cock it one direction to get it straight. There we go. Looks good. When you're not using the binder, it can be swung away. For the position of your stitch, you can just simply use this thumb screw and position the binder left or right for that stitch closer to the raw edge or more towards the center of your facing. The binder works great for rather heavy materials like this umbrella 2 inch facing. There's no need to uh, do anything extra except for just keep that fabric up against the edge of the binder, ensuring that it's feeding uniformly. For lighter fabrics such as Stamoid and maybe even the Dacron tape, it is sometimes necessary to feed the thickest end, this end that's got more fold, to the top. And it's also sometimes necessary to place a finger near the front of the binder since that fabric doesn't feed exceptionally well because it's light. The binder had to be created this way in, it, in order for it to be used for heavier fabrics. But see how it wrinkles here with light fabrics? The smart thing to do here is to actually just use your finger here and hold down as the binder feeds. When you do this, you'll notice that the binder feeds exceptionally well that light material. So this is a good option for those of you that want to feed something light into this binder. Now it comes out nice and flat. Thanks for watching. I'm Mayor Grant with Sailrite.